HP is not a common household name when it comes to PC peripherals as compared to established brands like Logitech. However, that doesn't mean that they can't make good PC peripherals to match your computer, especially if you are a creator, because these three peripherals right here are just made for you. This is the HP 975 wireless keyboard. This is the HP 960 4K streaming webcam. And finally, this is the HP 930 wireless creator mouse. These are great peripherals that I've been using for a month. And here's what I have to say about them. Let's start out with the HP 975 wireless keyboard. So one of the main issues that I have with my current wireless gaming mechanical keyboard right now is that it can be very bulky on my table despite offering a really good typing experience and also it has a really short battery life of up to two weeks. The HP 975 wireless keyboard has a battery life of up to six months on a single charge and that is of course without the backlighting on. This keyboard is backlit by the way, it has a really bright and nice white color backlighting that I really like a lot. Now, this keyboard is also very sturdily built. It is built with pretty much the very same materials as Apple's Magic Keyboard so that it doesn't have any flexes at all. It's very, very sturdy and it also doesn't move around the table as you're hammering really, really hard on it. But my favorite about this keyboard is definitely its function buttons. Now, starting with the function right on the top, you'll realize that they actually look very similar to HP's laptop's function row keys, but you know, you can actually use it on any other laptops if you want to because all these function row works as intended. Now, my favorite feature right here is of course, this a screenshot button that you press on the F9. As you can see, it goes into a screenshot mode already. You can also switch between multiple displays by just pressing on the F11 button where it uh, gives you to the project function of Windows, where to, du to duplicate your screen or extend your desktop screen. You have a dedicated search button that you can search your entire PC and you even get a dedicated and big mute switch right here that mutes your microphone when you're in a Microsoft Teams or Zoom meeting. Now, of course, the function buttons are part of the story, but the best part of this keyboard is the typing experience. These are Caesar key switchers. They are actually a low profile Caesar key switchers and they offer really good key travel. As you can see, the sound actually sounds very quiet. So that's actually something that's better if you are in an office and you don't want to hear, you don't want to have your colleagues hear your uh, noisy mechanical keyboard. So yep, having this keyboard in your studio or your office is actually a really good thing. Now, aside from the function row buttons, this keyboard also offers some other functions here. Now you do get a minimize all button right here that minimizes all your windows and shows your desktop immediately. So there's no need to remember the window plus D shortcut key if you can't remember that. You also get a dedicated button to your notifications page on Windows and you also get a dedicated lock button that locks your entire computer. Right next to the alternate button, you also get a dedicated emoji key that gives you access to your emojis and GIFs for your documents and chats. You also have a dictation button here that uses Cortana to do dictation if you actually want to do that. So the HP 975 connects to your PC using its dedicated 2.4 gigahertz dongle. As you can see, it's really small and slim. So you can basically just plug it into your PC and forget about it. And of course, if you want to connect to more devices, thankfully it has two dedicated Bluetooth modes that you can just connect to your tablet or smartphone and to text someone else or to work on the other devices if you want to do that. Next, let's talk about the HP 930 wireless creator mouse. Like the HP 975, it connects over to your computer using a 2.4 gigahertz dongle that looks really slim as well. And it also supports up to two additional devices over Bluetooth, which all you need to do is to press the button on the side. And that's really convenient as compared to Logitech mices where you need to flip the mouse over and press the button right at the bottom. Now. What makes this a great creator mouse is that it has this really nice white silverish paint job that actually looks great on the creator's desk. I mean, most creators out there would really love to have this kind of white minimalist look on the peripherals and the HP 930 looks really good when it comes to its aesthetics. Now, unlike the Logitech MX Master 3, which is the direct competitor to this mouse here, it has a unibody design right here. It doesn't have like separate buttons right here. The buttons actually felt a bit stiff to my liking, but it's not something that I can't get used to. And the 
scroll wheel here, it works very similarly to the MX Master 3 and you get a dedicated button right here to switch between different wheel motions. So if I press on this button and the wheel uh, becomes really small, it, which is really good for fast scrolling on web pages and all that. And once you press on it again, it goes back to the retro mode, which actually works really, really great. Now on the left here, you get a total of three buttons that is configurable over the HP Accessory Center app, which I'll show that in a bit. And right on the front, you get a USB-C port for charging the mouse. And HP claims that it could go up to several months on a single charge, which is actually great for any creators out there. And finally, the HP 960 4K streaming webcam. Look at this hardware. It is absolutely humongous as compared to some other webcams that we have checked out before. And it actually reminds me of the old iMac webcam two decades ago, which has a really great design. And it is as if Apple designed this webcam for HP. Now, I'm not sure what HP has packed into this webcam right here, but as you can see, it has microphones right on the side here. And what it houses on the front is a really big 8 megapixel camera sensor with an f2.0 aperture. And this can take up to 4K video resolution at 30 frames per second. So on the back here, you will get a single USB-C port to connect over to your computer. But what made me most impressed about this webcam is the clasp that it has here. Now it has a tripod mount as usual, but what it can do is that this webcam can be tilted to a top down position, which is very good for product presentation. So I've been using this webcam a lot for the past month for my meetings and all that. And when I want to show people what's on my table, I'll just tilt it down to this top down position so that they can see what I'm doing on my documents, on my other devices. So yeah, this is a really great webcam if you happen to present a lot of stuff on your table and you just want to tilt it down like this and it shows a super clear 4K resolution, which I'm going to show you guys in a bit. Now let's check out HP Accessory Center, otherwise known as HPAC. It is the configuration app for three of our peripherals here. So we have all three connected to our computer here, which is why you're seeing all three of them on this left pane here, and it's really easy to get access to them. Now let's check out the configuration of the HP 975 keyboard. Now, as you can see, I'm on an app specific settings right now in Microsoft Excel. So when I run Microsoft Excel and using this keyboard, I basically get to have functions such as insert column, cell format when I press on the F6 and F8 keys. And also I can, of course, uh, configure some other buttons such as the F4 button. Instead of file save, probably I just want to do a copy or paste function if I don't want to remember that hotkey, even though it's really easy to remember, right? So you can, of course, uh, map the keys to specific apps as well. So all you need to do is to just press the more button here and you simply just choose the app that you want to have the keys mapped to and it's really straightforward. Now, heading over to the backlight tab, this is where you can configure the brightness of the backlighting and how long do you want to stay on. So you even get a smart sensor that automatically detects the ambient light within your surroundings and it automatically adjusts the backlight, all right? And you have function keys right here. You can uh, lock your function keys or lock it on start and you even get to manage your connections as well. Now, this is something that I find it really unique because uh, most wireless mouse that I've seen out there with companion apps, they don't allow you to see what your device was connected to previously. So this is actually a very good function and you can basically just manage your device from here. Next, let's move on to the creator mouse. So this is what you can do. You can configure what each of the buttons do and you can also map it to specific applications as well. And you can configure your mouse sensitivity right here and it goes up to as fast as 3000 DPI, which is actually really good for a creator mouse. And finally, you have this manage connections tab, which is similar to the wireless keyboard and you can manage all previously connected devices. But what's interesting right here is this H layout here, which lets you do specific functions when you move your mouse cursor to the edge of your screen. For example, the first one, let's say if we want to do, um, if we want to do things like uh, lock, lock the laptop for instance, and let's say I do save. And if I move my mouse over to the edge here, there you go. It basically locks my computer. It's just crazy on what this mouse can really do, all right? So let's head on over to the 4K webcam uh, here, which is the most exciting thing that I want to show you guys, okay? So I'm just gonna queue off some camera apps right here if I can do that. 
And finally, let's find out what you can do on the HP 960 4K streaming webcam. And it is the most exciting part because there's a whole lot of things that you can do on this webcam. So on the general controls tab here, this is where you can change the resolution of the camera. And it supports up to 3840 by 2160 pixels at 30 FPS. And if you're a game streamer and you absolutely want the smoothest frame rates, it goes up to 1080p at 60 FPS. And that's actually a great setting here. So you also get to choose three different view of views here. So this is the widest angle that you can get on this webcam and you can get up close to 78 degree, which is how it looks like right now. 90 degrees, which is kind of like a wide, but not so wide angle. You also get HDR controls, flicker reduction, and you get to change the brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness, and white balance right on this page. So let's move on to framing here. Now, this is interesting because um, there are a lot of webcams that does this. It's like the center stage on Apple's iPads and iPhones, but now it is on a webcam. And I'm just so impressed at how smooth this is. So let's turn it on right now. And as you can see right now, it is focused on my head and I can choose to focus on my upper body if I want to, otherwise, head and shoulders. As you can see, the zoom motion is actually not too bad. It's actually pretty smooth, all right? And on the enhancement tab, this is where you can let the webcam automatically detect your scene to optimize image settings, which is also a great feature for those who doesn't have proper lighting and all that at home. And heading over to background. Now, this is uh, not so important in, in my honest opinion, but then if you just want a virtual background in your streams and all that, you can basically just use this if you want to. But this downgrades the streaming resolution down to 720p, which is something that I do not recommend at all, okay? Now, you also have this sharing feature which you can just record a footage of you straight away from this app right here. And you can even do a cropping if you want to, simply rotate the image if you want to, or even just connect to a RTMP streaming server. And finally, there's this interesting gesture feature that lets you hold up your hand to do specific functions such as changing different field of views, enabling the microphone, or start a recording or even change your webcam's brightness. So as you can see, there's so many things that you can configure on these peripherals to make it work great for you. And over the past month, I've been really satisfied with what HP has to offer on these three great creator peripherals. In terms of pricing, let me just do a recap. The HP 975 wireless keyboard costs 650 ringgit. The HP 960 4K streaming webcam costs 990 ringgit. And finally, the HP 930 wireless creator mouse will cost you 399 ringgit. They are of course not the cheapest peripherals out there. It's not like you can just uh, pay money out of it, but I can tell you that if you really value your work and you want to get more productive on the desk, these are the peripherals that's probably worth considering. All right, so that's pretty much all my thoughts on this great HP Creator Peripherals. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos coming right up. And I'll see you guys in the next one.